weight wetting down the top. Let's have a cut in the top first. That's what I prefer to do on this haircut. Connected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to section off the fringe from the rest. I'm going to be starting there. I'm really eerie since I've been cut off. Could take quite a bit off, don't forget. So I'm going to start by setting my length on the fringe and then working backwards through it to all connect it in. Just 
set up a few microphones in the studio upstairs. Then we'll use the trimmers up. just to get out that very yeah. bottom bit of that line. Comedians in cars get coffee. Well, I should choose this. I choose to do this now instead of at the end. Just because it stops you coming back on myself. Yeah, you basically. I'm going to pull the skin quite tight. You basically just pick the thing, the nail, I should He'd send me to shit like with love. And then with this line, we're going to use an open 0.5, slowly working our way down as we work down more close to that line. I prefer to do it this way instead of going up every grade. I uh, prefer to take my fingers out rather than do it line by line. You have to work it all the way down with a 0.5, you'll still be left with a faint line. So then go back to it, to it open, and work all across that line until it's gone. Side burn taper, you want to put a slightly angled ball guide, guide line in. And as he has his beer blending in as well, it doesn't really matter how far we go down. So I'll say about an inch, just ball all that out. And then we use the exact same process as we did for the back. And we just do that on the side. And after that, we'll line it all up, blend it in. And that's when I got it all start coming together. sharper and just get all these stray hairs off. Now we're going to do after wetting down the, that weight line we created before, we're just going to go around and scissor over comb all of it. We're still trying to keep it quite heavy around here as then we're just going to wear all this forward uh, at the end. Over the fringe, like I said before, we're just going to blunt it off.
So we're bending the beard in, I'm going to start again with the open 1.5 and work in the exact same method I did with the taper, just backwards until it's all blended in. And then I'll work with kneading the, the actual beard up itself. start with the top of the arch and work way all the way around to wherever the natural beard line is. In this case it's been pushed back quite a bit so we're going to try and bring it slightly higher up uh, so it'll still look quite sharp but still grow back his natural beard. Take off the gown, see so we've left some, just some neck air. Uh, we're just going to go over and take it off. We go down to the t-shirt the customer was wearing on the day. We just go down to that. You don't want to go any lower because anything below that is going to be my job. It's him or his missus or whoever wants to take it off. So after doing that with the hair all styled, just take it off. Take it off. <laughs> neck air. 